Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 7. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 5 of Book 7. Now before we begin, we need to look at some definitions again. So a number is a part of a number, the less of the greater when it measures the greater. Well, what does that mean? Basically, it means that if b is one-fifth of 10, so it is a part or fraction, it's not a bad idea to substitute the word fraction here, wherever you see the word part. So b is a fraction of 10, and it's equal to 2. And b measures 2, because it's b plus b plus b plus b is equal to a. Now, he makes a distinction between part and parts, because when he's talking about a fraction, he's talking about 1 over something. So if the fractional part is not 1 over something, he refers to it as parts. So in this example, let the fraction or the part be 1 fifth. So a is equal to p plus p plus p. And b is equal to 3 fifths of a. So it is equal to parts of a. So this is the distinction between part and parts. Something else is that when Euclid refers to two parts being equal, he's referring to the fraction. He's not referring to the actual value. So if p is equal to 10 and b is equal to 4, let the part equal one half of a and let the other part be one half of b. He's saying that the two parts are the same because they are both half. So this is an important thing to know because it's needed for this particular proposition. So in this proposition, what we're basically stating is if we have two numbers, a and c, and two parts being one qth of something, represented by b and d, then if we add b and d together, and we add a and c together, we will have the result where b plus d is the same fraction of a plus c. So this is what we're trying to prove. So first, let's start off with a and b, c. So a is a certain fraction of b, c. d is the same fraction of e and f. And what we're going to do is we are going to divide b, c into equal segments where each segment is equal to A, and we're going to divide EF into equal segments, where each segment is equal to D. Now, if we add A plus D, since CG, well, let me start at the top, BG and EH are equal, so BG is equal to A, EH is equal to D, so A plus D is equal to BG plus EH. A plus D is also equal to GC plus HF. Now in this particular example, our fraction is a half, but if it were more than a half, we would just keep doing this over and over and over again, and we would have that BC is equal to A plus A plus A, and so on and so forth, and EF would be equal to D plus D plus, and so on and so forth, so BC plus EF would be equal to A plus D plus A plus D, and so on and so forth to A plus D. So in the end, we have that BC plus EF would be some multiple of A plus D. And this multiple will be the same number as the number of times the parts fit into the numbers. So consequently, as a result of all of this, and, and all of this being very difficult to put in words, we have that A plus D is a fraction of BC plus EF, and that fraction is the same of the original fraction we had up here. So that demonstrates that if BC and EF are the same, sorry, if A and D are the same fraction of BC and EF, if you add them together, A plus D will still be the same fraction of BC plus EF. So this is the final proof. 